Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates, thank you to Prime Minister Modi and the Government of India for hosting this session of the International Trade on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. I'm pleased that this session is celebrating smallholder farmers as the guardians of crop diversity. They are food heroes and their contribution should be recognized. For almost two decades, the treaty has brought together every members to help the conserve and sustainable use of plant genetic resources. And it provides a large global exchange mechanism for plant genetics. And the treaty combines both food security and biodiversity protection, two issues that they are at the core of the 2030 agenda and the sustainable development goals. Dear colleagues, the world is heading for a population of 9 billion. At the same time, the impact of the climate crisis and biodiversity loss are putting pressure on agriculture. We must feed more people with less, with fewer input, and safeguard our natural resources. The pandemic and ongoing conflict are affecting the way we produce, supply, and consume our food. They have shown us how fragile our agri-food systems are and have put our global supply chain under pressure. To deal with these challenges, we must increase the use of diverse and resilient crops and their genetic resources. We must conserve the source of our food and culture, our seeds and other plant genetic material. The future of the food is dependent on the public and the private sectors, farmers and the academia needed to pick up the efforts to use genetic diversity sustainably and ensure they are made available for breeders and the researchers to enable innovation. It will allow us to adapt our crops to the growing impact of the climate crisis and be more resilient to shocks in supply chains. The treaty is central to achieving these objectives. But to do so, we need a capacity development, solid ins institutions and strong partnerships. Currently, the number of the contracting parties of the treaty is 149, and I'm uh, committed to support the efforts to get all FO members to sign up to the treaty. Making this treaty truly universal will help to ensure that the agricultural diversity is served, shared, and cared for. We must conserve this treasure for our descendants, for the food security of the current and future generations, and for the improved resilience and the preservation of our planet. Plant genetic resources are critical to better production, better nutrition, better environment, and better life for all, leaving no one behind. I wish you fruitful deliberations and successful outcomes. I thank you.